In this tutorial, we will show you the startup procedure for the FM100 AFCI charge controller. Before you begin on the startup procedure, double check all wiring connections are in place and torqued. Ensure the PV wires are wrapped correctly through the sensing coil. Inspect the wiring compartment and ensure no debris or tools were left inside. Okay, now verify the correct battery voltage and polarity before powering up the controller. Note, the FM100 AFCI requires at least 15 volts DC or higher to power up. Once the proper voltage and polarity are confirmed, turn on the battery output breaker. Once the battery voltage is detected, the charge controller will flash all LED indicators in sequence as it performs a self-test. The charge controller will automatically detect and set the nominal system voltage. The blue charging indicator will flash to show the nominal system voltage that was detected. Each flash indicates an increment of 12 volts. Two flashes equal 24 volts DC and four flashes equal 48 volts DC. Next, verify correct PV voltage and polarity. With a voltmeter, verify you measure proper PV voltage that does not exceed 300 volts DC. Once the PV breaker is turned on, the FM100 AFCI will enter a wake-up state and begin to track the maximum power point of the PV array. Note, if the charge controller returns to a snooze mode, it may indicate it did not detect a 10 watt minimum to initiate charging or detected a significant PV voltage drop. Congratulations, you have now successfully energized the FM100 AFCI charge controller. Thank you for watching.